Welcome to the next video. In the previous video, we had an introduction to the machine. We went through the machine anatomy, and we also learned about which materials are best to use with the laser cutters, both the large and the mini. In this section, we'll discuss where you can find laser cutter files. Our laser cutters require you to upload a DXF file when you want to cut. There are a number of ways to get a DXF file to laser cut. You can download a file off of a model sharing website like Thingiverse or Maker Design Lab. If you open up these presentation notes, you can click on these icons to jump to the sites. You can also create your own design using CAD, like SolidWorks, or Onshape. You can create basic shapes with the laser cutter software CorelDRAW. I'll now invite you to open up CorelDRAW on an ITLL computer or by remoting into an ITLL computer using the CIS cloud computing. You can then follow along with me on CorelDRAW. To open up CorelDRAW through CIS Cloud Computing, you'll first click this link, so I recommend you have the slides open to do that. Log in with your Identikey account and your password. You'll want to select Compute Enhanced from the All Resources page, and then search CorelDRAW on the remote desktop. Once you have CorelDRAW open, Practice drawing shapes and adding text. You can also import images to engrave. Ideally, they would be in black and white. Finally, you can import DXF files to cut. This is the recommended way to add models to be laser cut and the first that we'll go through. I'll now invite you to open up Onshape to practice importing a model into CorelDRAW. We'll switch over from the slides into Onshape and CorelDRAW to practice this and practice our print settings. I'll now invite you to open up Onshape to practice importing a model into CorelDRAW. Because our laser cutter does not have a Z axis, we cannot cut the depth of this model. The depth of our part is the thickness of material we use to cut. The first thing we want to do is view the model from the top face. Right click the top face of one part and select export as DXF DWG file. Save this somewhere where you'll be able to find it. Open up CorelDRAW and select File Import to bring the model into CorelDRAW. Select anywhere within the CorelDRAW area to select your model. The next thing we need to do is set our line thickness as hairline. So I'll go ahead and select the model by dragging and clicking, selecting Object, Properties, and making sure our outline is set to hairline and black. So now we should be ready to go. The next thing we need to do is set our speed and power settings based on our material. So to do that, I'll select File, Print. And I can see here that the destination for this model is already the mini laser cutter. So to select my speed and power settings based on the material I'm using, I'll select this gear icon. So that opens up the mini laser cutter properties. I'm doing a cut, so I'm going to select vector rather than raster, which means to engrave. For our example, we'll use 1 8 inch acrylic as the material we're cutting. This material uses 20% speed and 100% power. We can drag these to set our settings or we can actually type in here. So the next thing I'll do is select my piece size. So I know that the piece size I'm going to use is 11 by 9. and I can then select OK. This will send the job to the mini laser cutter. Now that we've seen where the laser cutter settings use power and speed, let's briefly discuss how power and speed relate to each other. When laser cutting, power and speed have an inverse relationship. The power should be decreased as the speed increases. 
The inverse is also true. As the power increases, the speed should decrease. Note that thicker materials have more to cut. Darker or denser materials absorb more energy. Multiple passes may be better than increasing power on these types of materials. You'll notice a wider kerf when cutting thicker or denser materials. That concludes this section. In our next section, we'll discuss sending jobs to the laser cutter and completing our sample cut.